So Ben Whitaker fought on the undercard of Joshua Boatsy versus Dan Aziz last night. He's moved to 6-0 and with five knockouts after stopping Khalid Gradia in the fifth round. Now, I haven't really spoken about Ben Whitaker. I don't think I've made any videos on him. Uh, I think at most I've briefly given my impression of him in a live stream when someone's asked me, but even then I'm not entirely sure. But I figured I've seen a fair bit of him now, so I'll... Um, yeah, I'll give my two cents on him as a fighter. And um, obviously I'll touch on his performance from last night. Although, as I'm sure you can imagine, it, it's nothing necessarily to write home about just because the level of opposition is is fairly low at this point. You know, it's a sick fight. Um, not getting all that much resistance from the opponents in front of him. However, I think it's undeniable that there is definitely potential of Ben Whitaker. Uh, you can watch his most recent fight. Sky have uploaded it onto their um, boxing channel on YouTube. Um, as I say, it went five rounds and it was really Ben Whitaker doing all he wanted. Um, you could probably count on the number of uh, count the number of punches that he actually took in one hand and likely have fingers left to spare. So it was really just uh, a Ben Whitaker showcasing, which you'd expect in this stage of his career. And if we want to analyse that showcase, I thought it was pretty damn good. i got to be honest. Obviously, factoring in, it's not a great level of opposition. But as I say, I think there is a lot of potential with Ben Whitaker. I think the the athleticism is undeniable. Uh, he's also quite a big guy at light heavyweight. He's six foot three. Um, he's not lanky, though. He's not skin and bones. Like There is some, some strength, some muscularity to him. Um, and on top of that, there is uh, there is skill there. There is also a degree of precision. I know his his nickname is the surgeon, and yeah, he he does have that uh, that precision, that skill. And personally, I really like his style. A uh, bit of a, a marmite character though. That seems to be the route he's going down. The you either love me or you hate me route. And I think what one of the key factors, one of the key contributing factors is his showboating. Because there's this very odd view and attitude towards showboating in the UK especially. And obviously he's a UK fighter, um, a British boxing prospect. And so it's some people seem to love it. Some people are extremely turned off by it. He, he is going down the route of the very uh, OTT extravagant showboating. And if I'm going to give my personal opinion, which is just that, an opinion, I personally really enjoy it. I like the whole Ben Whitaker, you know, the flashy, athletic, over-the-top uh, performances. I personally think they're really entertaining. Um, even against this low level of opposition where it can seem quite cheap because there's not much resistance Hey, I want to see people be over the top in the ring. Boxing is a crazy sport, you know, and I, I, I don't personally appreciate it when people try and make it as clinical as possible. You know, oh, we have to keep it super clean and we um, we need it to be regulated, no showboat, none of that. Oh, that's frowned upon. I want to see fighters express themselves. I see boxing and particularly a fighter's style as... Um, an extension of their personality. You know, it's a, physical, a physical expression of who they are as a person. And I don't want to see all these guys have the same styles when they come up against each other. I want to see, um, yeah, the physical differences and how they influence the styles, but also um, the personality of, of a fighter. I want to see that shine through so we get clashes of styles, clashes of personalities, and we get engaging fights. And I think... Fighters like Ben Whitaker, they contribute quite a bit towards that as well. And, you know, there are a lot of people to each their own who don't like showboating for whatever reason. Um, and they don't like, particularly when fighters like Ben Whitaker do it, who, yeah, you could say are largely unproven. I know Whitaker has amateur pedigree, you know, silver medalist in the Olympics. Uh, but as a pro, he's still got Ernie Stripes. That's undeniable. But then these same people who criticize and really dislike Ben Whitaker showboating. They're fans of Tyson Fury. They're fans of uh, Nassim Hamed, um, Chris Eubank, senior and junior. 
And it's like, okay, so you don't like it when Ben Whitaker show votes, but you'll wax lyrical about all the guys I've just mentioned, talking about how they're boxing legends. I know Tyson Fury recently has fallen out of favour with many people, but you know, if we look at Naz, for example, and Chris Eubank Sr., these are guys who show voted, and people love it. They look back, oh, these guys were doing all kinds of stuff in the ring. You know, they were the real entertainers, they were the showmen. Well, yeah, they were. And in their careers, way back when, they weren't waiting for people's approval before they started showboating. They would come out day one of their pro careers and they were showboating and they were getting away with it. And it's only in retrospect that people appreciate it. Uh, they look back at, oh, these were the, the glory days of British boxing, that kind of thing. But the, what I'm trying to say is, if that's Ben Whitaker's style, as far as I'm concerned, as long as he's not doing something that's illegal or overly dangerous, um, hey, let him do it. You know, if he wants to showboat and he gets himself knocked spark out, then it's his own fault. So let him take that risk. As I say, as long as he's not doing anything that's illegal or overly dangerous to himself or his opponent, have at it. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's a fight. Because people, they talk about, oh, it's so disrespectful. I, I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. But then I'm looking at the context as, or context of, these guys are trying to knock seven bells out of each other. They're actually trying to render each other unconscious. unconscious. And in some cases, some fighters have very dark intentions that go beyond just knocking someone out. So a little bit of, uh, a little bit of showboating, a little bit of posturing and, uh, kidology and I guess you could say uh, gamesmanship so what it's relatively minor in the grand scheme of things as far as I'm concerned um, and yeah it just it really puzzles me sometimes I, I can understand if you're like you know what I just don't like showboating and boxing fair enough but then surely you should have that standard for all fighters not just the fighters who you you know dislike oh I, I'm not too keen on him so I don't want him to showboat Whereas this guy who, you know, I've been a fan of for the past 20, 30 years since he was turned uh, pro in the 90s, I, I, I'll allow him to do it. I'll accept that. I just, I like the consistency because um, ultimately showboating is just that. It's just part of the show. And this is prize fighting ultimately. I watch boxing, yeah, because I enjoy the technical part of it. I enjoy the actual sporting science behind it. But before any of that at the core, I want to be entertained. And I find Ben Whitaker very entertaining. Um, I don't necessarily know if he's going to be able to go all the way and, you know, um, you know, become undisputed champion, become the best at light heavyweight, become a generational best. I don't know. But what I see in Ben Whitaker is someone who is very confident in himself, um, very athletically gifted, actually has some skill there and some schooling and he you know through that confidence he adds that little bit of flair you know he's clearly a, a bit of a showman likes the attention that kind of thing I think he's even got a music career running alongside it I can't say I've listened to any any of his songs though but he's someone who likes that attention and if that comes through in his boxing style hey man um I see it as a welcome addition but uh, those are just my thoughts. Of course, this is just my opinion. If you want to disagree, go ahead. Um, we all watch boxing to be entertained and what entertains me doesn't necessarily entertain you and vice versa. But uh, nevertheless, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of Ben Whitaker? His style, but also his potential. How far do you think he can go in the sport? Uh, what have you made of his recent performances? So on and so forth. Leave it down below. And I'll get back to you, but for now, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video.